Good morning, kids. So I've showed you a lunch. I've showed you um, a dinner. Remember my super awesome, amazing chili? Um, if you tried it. I mean, you might like it, you might not. Anyways, so today I'm gonna show you a breakfast. So I'm gonna actually share um, one recipe with you um, on a slide with directions because you're gonna need to make something ahead of time. Um, so I am gonna make uh, quinoa, don't be scared, with some spinach and some goat cheese and an egg. And don't be scared. I know, I'm gonna take you on a flavor adventure. Okay, so first thing I do, now this, um, I make um, a full batch of quinoa to use throughout the week so that when I'm, I wanna use it for breakfast or if I wanna use it for lunch or for another recipe later, I always have it on hand, okay? So I usually make it on Sunday. Um, but I'll give you the recipe for that. It is super yummy. Don't be fooled by people that say it tastes like sawdust. This is a like foolproof recipe, okay? And then um, I'm gonna use my baby spinach and arugula. Um, you can use just baby spinach. You could use kale. Um, you could use whatever you want. Um, I am also going to use some goat cheese. Um, sometimes I make it with feta. So I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try something new. And I have one egg, and I am gonna use just a tiny bit of avocado oil, but you could use olive oil or whatever you want. You're just gonna use a tiny little bit um, to put in the pan um, to kind of crisp up your um, quinoa, and then we're gonna put it all together, all right? So um, here we go. All right, kiddos. So I start by um, heating my pan up. It's on medium. And I'm just gonna give a little, probably about a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less. Um, if you're gonna be making a larger um, amount, then obviously you would use maybe a little bit more or use a larger pan, but I just have a little tiny pan here. All right, so I'm gonna let that heat up really quickly. Um, my puppy dogs are sitting here waiting for a, thinking they're getting a handout. That is not gonna happen. Okay, um, when I do my quinoa, I, I always measure mine. You can use, you know, whatever you want. I usually use about half a cup. Okay, and I just put it and smash it in there, make it flat. Okay. I'm just gonna let that sit there. waiting for the sizzle. Turn up a little bit, maybe get it, maybe get it going a little bit. I didn't heat my pan up very, very long. I'm gonna need to speed this part up. My editor is gonna need to speed this part up. There we go, now I got a little sizzle going. Mm -hmm. All right, good. So while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and put a handful, a nice, generous handful of spinach right on the top. Okay. And then I'm going to clean up while that's going. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my mess and put these items away. While that is going, okay. While that's going, I'm going to go ahead and open up my cheese. Now remember, you can use any cheese that you want. Um, I just prefer, you know, cheeses like goat cheese, feta cheese, um, just cause I really love these strong flavors that they have. So, um, but you can, like I said, you can use any cheese that you want. Okay. And I'm gonna throw that stuff in there kind of a little, more like a 
bready cheese than a, than a crumbly cheese. Okay, I'm gonna throw that in there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna crack my egg right over the top. Add a little pepper. Add a little salt. And you're just gonna scramble it all together. I'm actually filming this video while monitoring your eye ready test. That's right. Killing two birds with one stone. turn that off and slide it onto our plate okay and there you go so it's like scrambled egg it is scrambled egg with some spinach quinoa and some delicious goat cheese so uh, remember you can be creative with this one I want to see what you can make with it. So um, definitely be creative. See what other kind of veggies you can throw in there. Again, you know, I'm always looking for sneaky ways to get my veggies in because I don't like to eat veggies. I mean, I love them, but I don't eat them nearly enough. So find the sneaky ways to get it in there. All right, guys, I'll see you for the next recipe. All right, peace out, my home fries.